Alright guys, so we're back with another Splitgate video. For today's video, we're going to look at how you could get kills through portals faster in Splitgate. If you did not know, this is one of the challenges that you have to do in order for you to get gold camo for whatever weapon you want. I could see some players struggling with this, but this is why I'm here for, to help you guys complete this challenge as fast as possible. Just like if you are struggling with whose referral code to use, my code will make your time easier. <clears throat> Shameless plugin. If you are new to the game and you are under level 10, you can use my code to earn yourself 50 split coins. And in return, how this will help me after entering my code and you get yourself to level 10, then I will earn myself 50 split coins. It's the best way to help support me. So without further ado, let's begin. So for starters, what is this challenge? Kills through portals. I mean, the name pretty much explains itself. It's where you kill someone through your portals. You set up one side, set up the next side somewhere else, someone walks in front of one side, you shoot them through the other side. Boom, portal kill. There are many things to take into consideration when doing this challenge, like which map is the best, which modes are the best, your playstyle, all these things. So to start it off, the best game mode for this challenge, in my opinion, is Domination. Reason being is this mode actually takes some time to finish and that is what you want, especially when you get some of the maps that will get you a lot of kills through portals. You want to have a match that will last a good amount of time, then something like TDM that could end very very quickly. Domination is also amazing for this challenge because of the portal cam strat that you could use. I am claiming to be the first creator of naming this strat, okay? Uh, nobody has used this name before. I am the first to use it. This is where you place one portal down to watch one of the dawn points that you already taken. When enemies try to take it, you will be watching from the other end ready to aim assist those killers back to the lobby. You also want to do this in an area where if the enemy destroys the portal, you could just peek where you're hiding from to place back the portal to watch the enemies through it again. Yep, that's the playstyle you have to play like a bit. you have to portal camp to make this effective yes i know portal camping is aids please do not cancel me for that but this is necessary because if you leave one portal to watch at the point and you're rushing around the map if the enemies destroy it that's pretty much it for you you're already too far to try and set it back up to get those kills but yeah that's pretty much how you want to do it if domination really isn't your cup of tea you can always try oddball vip or team deathmatch. They are still very good alternates, but at least with my experience with it, Domination is the best. So you know the best modes, but what are the best maps to go for this? Well, let's get the obvious one out of the way. This one spot alone will for sure that you will always get 10, 15, even 20 kills through portals. Even if someone is underneath, just put your other portal behind you and shoot anyone in the spawn room below you. So please, always pick this map every time you see it. If you can't, you can pick these instead and I'll show you where you could set up and get those easy portal kills. Oasis is pretty much the second best map since you could put your other end of the portal on both sides of the map almost immediately with the help of these tall walls. You can sit inside your spawn or at the very back where the dawn points are. Helix have a good few like having a portal on A or C. Even though it is a very obvious spot, you will be surprised not many players will destroy your portal as they see it. This portal spot right above B might be better to use. Everyone always fights for this point so you for sure will get a good amount right here. The same can be done if you put a portal by this cube where the SMG is located. Club silo is kinda confusing for me but it's not really that bad. For the A dorm, you want to be in this room. The best part here is they can't push you unless they take your portal. For the B dorm point, both sides have a wall watching the point with good visual to replace any portal that is destroyed. And for the C dorm, you want to be in the sniper room and have your portal here to watch the point. Olympus got a lot of... Wait, not this Olympus. Right, this one. That's better. There are a lot of good few portal spots that you could use to watch both A and C dorm and that's from your spawn area on the very top floor. These are the placements that you can see and also you can watch the top floor of B dorm. A lot of players do pass here to try and cap it or you can make a portal to the enemy top floor just in case anybody have the same idea or you just like this side much better. Lava well is also great. You could use your jetpack to get a view on this wall, put it down there and then you run inside and watch the enemy spawn in the safety of 
your own base. Oika run out and use this wall but you are very open to be shot from many different angles. Many players run up this ramp so you can set up by having a portal on either wall here or on this cube which will be better because the enemy's back will be facing you giving you a free kill. And the last spot you can watch is the middle route which is commonly used because the rocket launcher spawns here. You can use it here from the dorm point and have your other portal on the top wall. On impact you leave a portal to watch the air dorm or you can leave one over here to watch this hallway for anybody that's passing. You can switch your portals back and forth all within this one spot. If you want to explore a bit there's this wall all the way here to see this entire open area and even on the B dorm itself. There are other spots but they aren't the best or in open areas that could get you killed easily. And lastly we have the new maps that we just got recently. First one being foreground destruction. Here you can watch both a and B or C and B dom points from these spots and there are also these tall walls to watch these long walkways and for Craig eh Craig as well as some of the other maps I left out just because some spots were not very high traffic areas or the dump points are in areas that the enemies wouldn't really bother pushing if they already have two points already. So yeah that's the best way to get the kills through portals challenge done as fast as possible. If this video helped you out in any way possible drop a like down below, leave a comment, something, anything, I don't know juice I'll, yeah, yeah juice common juice so i'll know that you made it to the end of the video and also subscribe to help the channel grow and for more split gate content remember to follow me on all my other social platforms and to use my referral code once again i hope you all are doing great keep it at 100 and i will see all of you all in the next video later